The eyes, the treatment of the eyes of, of some of my figures, which we think of, you know, as the window to the soul. Uh, I mean, any individual responds to that part of the face, first of all. But I decided to um, create uh, eyes that were beautiful in some cases, eyes that were very sad. I never have my figures looking down and defeated. She looked toward the sky. She asked God, why me be here? Why my unborn baby feel the pain of the life she not yet had? She had often been severely beaten. This time her belly was full of life. Her breast swollen to the point of bursting. The brutal lashing would cause her knees to buckle and she would fall forward. Before her were three dug out earthen shapes prepared for her. This was done to preserve the infant and protect the breast to feed the baby. The peculiar economics of the South dictated that this valuable property not be destroyed. To beat one or to physically harm a person for the uh, slightest infraction uh, of, of a law or something was, was quite common. It, uh, that old saying, to keep one in line, you know, it's the same way you would treat an animal or a dog or something, you know. So, um, yeah, yeah, that, that was that, a very a difficult piece to talk about, but, you know, the, the pregnancy that we, we can see in the piece uh, and the woman's expression uh, uh, on her face. Uh, the holes that are dug in the ground so that it would not um, hurt the baby because um, it was the slave, I mean, the slave owner, this was property. And uh, so her breasts had to fit in the ground, holes dug, and also um, the pregnancy, uh, the stomach part. But um, uh, yeah, that, that was very common treatment, uh, not only to pregnant pregnant women, but you know, all forms of, of uh, torture and beatings, uh, you know, like pouring salt into the wounds and unnecessary uh, torture that one delivered uh, to, to, uh, to another human being. And this is why the abolitionists were so much against slavery, and this is why people fought. There's large numbers of people who, who spoke out against slavery. Uh, my way of overcoming um, uh, the negatives in, in relations you know, between races is to express it through the, through the making of the, of the art. Uh, it, it's a form of voice. It's a form of, um, I don't know, uh, clearing it, to move it away from you, out of you, uh, uh, to, um, to deal with, with tension. I chose not to allow anger uh, to overtake me. Um, because I certainly have a lot to be angry about. Even my career is affected by color. One every day has to suffer from, um, from ignorance, you know. But my way of dealing with it is to uh, put it in the form of um, storytelling. Uh, some of the positive things that happen, some of the things that uh, are the clever things, you know, emphasizing, well, how wise and smart and, and um, ingenious these people were uh, uh, to deal with this and still exist you know how, how in the heck did we actually survive uh, the marching from um, the internal uh, I mean the uh, uh, jungle part of Africa to the coast and um, tricked and and landed up on ships and where a third of them died and I mean how did how did we endure? And so this is my way of dealing with it. I celebrate it. My common law husband and our former master came to an agreement. The Union soldiers had destroyed or taken most of the food and the farm animals. So we had to use our own bodies. I was amazed at how he pulled the plow as I guided it through the red soil where furrows of earth revealed many layers of sorrowful acts that had taken place on this here land. 